Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create crispy uh, videos using Premiere Pro. I'm using Premiere Pro CS5. Um, I have been creating videos for quite a while but uh, couldn't successfully make image clear uh, using you know general uh, Premiere default settings which will uh, doom you to make images blurry um, so let's see how um, I have used uh, this um, screen recorder application developed by Microsoft um, to capture my screen video and you can get this application um, through to just search uh, utility spotlight screen recorder and then it's just free um, you can capture your screen using this application and then let me show what I have uh, what I have captured I just captured the video um, that using my the application I developed for speed reading it's just like that and then the the video it's like that so there's no difference between the captured video and the actual uh, showing the, the actual appearance of the uh, the screen well there is a little difference probably uh, there's some little color change but it's not so observable here but in general uh, this screen recorder is a good application I like that and it's free so what I used to do is to create a sequence here because oh okay I thought I will view my video using desktop so I chose desktop and uh, my uh, screen resolution is 1920 times 1080 and aspect ratio is 1 so that's what I have done and then click OK and then import my video file and then just bring in and look at that it's just the the, the uh, even the even though the 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 text here is, is quite big the font size is quite big and these the edges are becoming a little blurry and the small text here the black text and the red text is completely uh, unreadable it's not acceptable and so you might say okay this is just preview it probably will become clear when uh, you if you export it so let's see how it goes so we use the default setting here and then just export it look can you read see the, the, the text here is just uh, it's unreadable and the, the bottom has become um, it, it has faded fading out it's fading out it's not acceptable so uh, actually I have committed a mistake uh, a setting mistake here so let's create let's let me show you the right way to do it uh, the most important setting is here editing mode you can't use these this VVNTSC here there are these uh, t dozens of settings there are only three uh, editing modes that will uh, create crispy image I'm sorry the videos with uh, crispy text text uh, which are these three HTV settings 
So I'm going to choose this one, uh, 1080 because my of my screen resolution, and then uh, I'll just leave the other settings as it is. It's just fine, and make sure uh, the check the sequence setting before you do any uh, addition. See, I just did uh, uh, a high def HTV. HTV, I'm sorry, HDV setting, and then it still um, produced a DVHT SC sequence for me. I don't know why. It must be some bug that um, Adobe created, and uh, and if you don't check it, and after all your uh, editing, and you just find out, you export the video, and you just find out the the image is so blurry and it's too late you have to uh, redo the whole edition and uh, you've got to you know check before you do any uh, additions so I'll do it again HDV 1080 and then let's check again uh, sequence setting okay so this time is HDV uh, 1080 so it's correct and let me bring in the video look the difference is obvious let's compare with the blurry one the blurry sequence Blah. can't read it and then um, let me export it so there is another trick here uh, when you export it you cannot use this uh, Microsoft H, um, sorry, AVI um, codec. It's not so clear. You've got to use uh, this MP4 codec, and then choose the high definition one. So uh, because it's high quality, so high definition 1080, uh, 24 high quality. And then, yep, yep, other, others are fine. So I just export it. So let's see. Let's compare these two images. See, uh, the, the the text, even even the the small text is uh, is just is readable. And um, comparing to the non high definition one there so um, there you go that's how you create crispy videos using Premiere Pro thank you for watching